Nuclear Throne is pure chaos. An explosive, gunslinging romp through a post-apocalyptic wasteland that marries the frantic energy of bullet hells with the tactical risk assessment of a roguelike. Boasting a mean arsenal of weapons, from standard revolvers to plasma cannons, it packs a big enough punch to draw in fans of fast-paced running guns, but also demands a patience and strategy that rewards slow and methodical players, too. With a cast of colorful characters to choose from and a simple leveling system that grants fun new skills as you progress, there's no shortage of unique approaches to play. Which is good, because coupled with Nuclear Throne's unforgiving level of difficulty, you'll probably be playing a lot. A game of Nuclear Throne can be over in an instant, but because it rewards you so often with frequent weapon pickups and fancy new skills, every failure feels like a fresh new beginning. Like any action roguelike hybrid, Nuclear Throne's levels, enemy spawns, and item pickups are all procedurally generated. Themed levels grant a degree of consistency so you'll still have a general idea of what to expect each time you enter a new zone. This is super valuable for planning ahead, which plays a major part in mastering Nuclear Throne's challenges. It may be a shoot 'em up but rolling into battle with even the biggest guns blazing will only get you so far. The bulk of Nuclear Throne's strategy manifests in its engaging skill system. If you've cleared a level of all enemies and earned enough experience points to level up, you get to choose one mutation out of four before moving on to the next area. It's super satisfying to pile on your favorite mutations over the course of a playthrough until you have that perfect build, but part of overcoming Nuclear Throne's difficulty means experimenting with the constantly shifting tweaks that each new skill provides. With so many mutations to choose from, you might not always be given the options you want, which is part of Nuclear Throne's exciting unpredictability. It forces you to change up your playstyle, work with the tools you're given, and continue to adapt, ultimately making you a better player without holding your hand. Unfortunately, Nuclear Throne does suffer from occasional crashes, which is a huge pain in a game where progression can't be saved or reloaded. It didn't happen frequently enough to put a dent in my positive experience, but I was also lucky to never have it happen while I was going up against the last boss. Nuclear Throne might not be a super complex game, but it is a compelling one. Its action is brutal, over the top, and rewarding, a hyperactive arcade-style shoot-em-up with enough dynamism to keep me captivated moment to moment, but a strong sense of strategy to give me something to invest in over longer playthroughs. Whether you want to sink your time in, methodically making it to that elusive throne, or play in quick punchy bursts, Nuclear Throne is an excellent choice either way. For more on the best action roguelikes, stay tuned to IGN.